guys. Oh, that was slick, Sloan. <laughs> guys welcome 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 to another episode of vanilla minecraft i am clobber stomp and today i've got something very exciting if you guys have been following the series and you've gone through at least getting to the brewing stand and the potions and making yourselves potions of weakness uh right here uh, i'm sorry right here you can do the next step, and today we have something super exciting. We are going to create a village. Well, not really a whole village, but we're going to create villagers. So, let's get started. Um, the first thing you need to do is you have to locate... Oh, Enderman, I need those pearls. Oh, burn. Uh, the first thing you need to do is locate a spawner a zombie spawner specifically now if you find one I just happen to be lucky enough to get one now look at this oh look at this guy <laughs> so one thing that we figured out uh, let me turn off my sound that's kind of annoying there we go sorry about that um, one thing that you can do and here's our spawner and I've got torches on it. Uh, the first thing you want to do is obviously break your torches. Pick them all up. Whoa. And you'll probably get a guy to spawn right away. That's okay. Um, I made it in a little room like this. I kept it in the room it was in. And when I found it, what you want to do is you want to keep it open with one block. Um, just enough so they'll spawn so it's dark enough in there. Let's get that other torch. Wow. Quick, quick like a bunny. There we go. So it's, you know, close enough for them to get in there and um, dark enough for them to spawn. Let's get rid of this one too so it stays dark. There we go. Perfect. Um, now what you need to get now with my texture pack, that is one of the villager spawners. They're the ones that get the really long nose. When you get one of those, oh, we want to we wanna kill that one. We don't want to kill the villager. Then once you get that, you want to stop your spawner from spawning, if you can. There we go. Okay, so the first two items that you need once you get your spawner located is you need a splash potion of weakness, three minutes, and a golden apple. And you can make your golden apple by putting an apple in the middle and surrounding it with eight pieces of gold and a crafting table. Pretty easy. Not too bad. So, first thing you want to do is throw the potion at him. Bam! So if he's got that, and then you... Oh, did you hear it? Do you hear it? Then you right-click on him with the golden apple. And if you hear that sound, once the... the... Uh, potion of weakness wears off, in three minutes, obviously, um, you will then get a... Uh, a villager he'll just magically turn now I've already done this with two of them you only need to do this two times because then you can get them to breed but while we're waiting for him I'm gonna show you kinda what we did now up here I made a, a track that goes up uh, we haven't learned how to make tracks yet but we'll cover that in another episode but just for the sake of saving time what I did was I created a track to go all the way over to where we're gonna so it comes up over there um, you got regular tracks and you've got powered tracks which you power with a redstone torch you make a redstone torch with a stick not an arrow and then a piece of redstone um, you make the powered tracks by well we'll cover that in another episode whatever but when we get to this point you make your tracks and we got it flying all the way over as you can see we've really been working hard got a nether ward farm now oh yeah sweet nether ward oh yeah so we went to the nether we gathered that all up and I uh, gathered enough soul sand to plug it all in perfect 
Then we started making our village. I made a big perimeter here, as you can see, and I made this cool little minecart thing. So this is a detector rail, and when it hits the detector rail, it will turn the redstone on and then pull the sticky piston up. So villagers or whoever's in a minecart will go into that room, which is perfect, which is what we want. So I enclosed the room so we can send villagers out here because we're going to move them with a minecart. It's going to be pretty awesome. So let's go see if that sucker has worn off. Now, this whole area here, we're going to fill this whole thing with houses and maybe a couple farms, similar to a regular um, a regular village you would find that naturally spawned. However, we've been playing on the server for a couple days, and maybe a couple weeks, and we still haven't found a, uh, a village, which is really dumb. I'm not not too happy about it, but that's okay. So let's go see how our villager's doing. Let's see if our zombie turned into a villager. Takes about three minutes. Whoop. Let's see, is he still going? Or is he done? Oh, he's still going, perfect. So this should wear off any minute and then you'll see him turn into a villager. Um, so we got two over there. They are already trading me uh, emeralds for paper and emeralds for wheat, so that is super cool. So once he changes, we're going to want to get him into a minecart, and then we're going to shoot him up the track into the, into the new home. That's what we're going to do. Come on, you can do it. He should finish up pretty quick here. Are you going to switch? When you switch, come on, buddy. You can do it. See how he wants to, he wants to kill those villagers. <laughs> Yeah, I know you do, but you won't soon. Then you're gonna be, you're gonna be like them, and then I'll let you out of this room. But if I let you out now, you will destroy them. And the bearded man, I think we've got a farmer. That guy there is a farmer. I think that guy, the other guy with the white beard, is a uh, a librarian. So we'll probably build a library and a little farm for for those guys. And then whatever this guy's going to be, hopefully he'll turn into something like a miner or something. I don't know. We'll see. But um, it usually doesn't go that fast. Usually you got to kill about, I don't know, 10 to 20 zombies before you get that guy. You get like a 0.5 or is a 0.2. I don't remember the percentage, but you have, it's like a very low percentage that the villager zombie will spawn but he does as you can see we got pretty lucky so are you gonna go come on you can do it buddy you gotta be finishing up pretty quick now this has worked pretty much every time for me so I've only had to use two golden apples and two splash potions to make this work so that worked out pretty well let's see if this works third time as well Look, there we go. He switched. Did you hear him go? Now, what do you have? Oh, you're a toolsmith. So we're going to have to build a forge for you. Oh, you've got emeralds for a, a shovel. That's all you have right now. Sweet. All right, bud. Let's get out of here. Come on. You can do it. There we go. Push him out. Block that back up just in case zombies do come out of there because they have been known. Even with torches around, it could be possible. All right, so what we want to do is I'm going to move this up here because we want to finish this track down to here. So let's go get some track. I forgot to get some. I don't have any on me. Nope. Oh, come on. There we go. Let's swim up our little swim up our deal here. Come on. There we go. As you can see, I can walk pretty fast in the water. It's because I have that enchantment uh, depth strider. So I can walk just as fast as I do in the normal world. Or in normal. Where's our stuff? Okay, so we've got powered rails. Let's take those, take those, and take those. Hmm. Alright. If we finish this up quick, 
we get one in the minecart, then I will talk about powered rails, or how to make them. Alright, so, let's get this going here. Should be good. Down all the way to the bottom. Well, let's do it like this. And then power it up. Woohoo! Let's get a minecart. And we're going to put the track there like that. And get that out of the way. Let's put our minecart here. Where are you, buddy? Ah. Uh, let's put this on here. Uh, can we fill that in? Nope, I can't. That's alright. Let's fill this in so nothing goes down there. Perfect. So now, if I come over here, see if I can push Mr. Toolsmith into the minecart. Oh, perfect. Whoops. Oh, they need to sleep. All right, so. I want to block this off so nobody can get through. Hey, you know what? We'll just let it. If he walks up there, he walks up there. We can always make another guy. And we're going to push you on there. And we're going to follow you. Get on the track. Come on. Go. Oh, there he goes. Now let's block those off. Did he go all the way? Oh, he's all... Look at him. He's going. Oh, he went so far. I hope he didn't get killed by anything. Oh, come on. Let's see if he made it into our area. I really wanted to see him run on the track, but he went fast. Ooh. Is he in there? He's in there! Look at that! It worked! Sweet! Close this up so no zombies get us. Look at that. Awesome. And he is stuck. Perfect. So we're going to move him. Get you on the track. Perfect. And we're going to leave him there. Let's go sleep. So we got him in there. That's awesome. So now he's in our village. That is perfect. Let's get back so we can sleep for Beer City. He just joined the other day. Today, actually. And he has not slept in a bed. So let's get him squared away so he can sleep. So that's pretty much how you do it. So we're going to try to get another guy over there. Um, I'll probably breed or make a few more of those and move those in mine carts um, to our village and then we can go over the next portion which is going to be um, how to get them to breed and that kind of thing so we already know how to make them from nothing which is perfect so next piece is let's take a look at making powered rails and regular rails So, first things you will need is iron, gold, redstone, and sticks. So, if you gather all those up, we'll be perfect. So, you make regular tracks by this. Bam! Oh, just the sticks. There we go. So, you make 16 uh, rails from uh, 6 iron ingots. So that's how you make the regular rails. And here's how you make the powered rails. You put the 
powered redstone and there you go you get six out of six pieces of gold so this is a good use for gold since there's really not a whole lot of other stuff you can make yeah I mean you can make other stuff with gold but it's really kind of useless because um, gold is so soft um, it doesn't really last very long as durability is not very good so um, I think that's gonna cover it um, I'm gonna get a few more of those uh, villagers moved and hopefully uh, we'll get some more of those um oh my gosh why is that guy up there how did that happen what are you doing what oh my gosh how'd you get up there did this not did you break oh my gosh I totally placed the block in the wrong spot and I did it again. Ha! Ah! There we go. Now you can't get out. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm going to have to kill that guy. Or maybe not kill him, but... How'd you get on top of the tree, man? Oh, he must have climbed. Went up like this, and like this, and like this. And hey! Burp! I'm here. You're totally going to get killed. Whoa, you got a lot of stuff, buddy. Whoa. Whoa. Um, do I push him down? I put it, try to put him in a minecart? Uh, I know what we're going to do. Where'd you go? Hey, stop it. I'm going to push you down into the water. Ah. Oh, sorry. Let's see if we can get him to go back home. You're not going to climb, are you? Can you climb? Will you climb? Are you a little jerk face? You are a little jerk face. Well, let's push him down here. Step one, get, get lower. Yeah. Now I can push you down. Yeah, see? Jump. There you go. Nice. Bye bye. Perfect. Yeah! <laughs> I got you back home. Eat it, son! Yeah! So I'm going to breed, or I'm going to cure a couple more zombies, and we're going to get those over to the, the, new, the new village, and we're going to get that village going so we can start uh, making some houses for these guys, and then we will start to get uh, uh, an actual real village going. So that's going to be pretty awesome. So we'll cover that in the next episode. See you guys.